Hey everyone, welcome to the Global NLP Lab, a place where we discuss the latest in natural language processing. Subscribe to stay up to date with our latest content. Today, we're going to be diving deeper into the topic of automatically optimizing the prompts of large pre-trained language models, LMs. This topic is particularly interesting given the significant advances in large language models, such as ChatGPT, since it would allow us to automatically discover the best prompts for a given task. We are going to look at a paper that proposes a novel method for prompt optimization using reinforcement learning. So let's get into it. Prompting has become a popular technique for enabling LM to perform a wide variety of tasks, often with only a few downstream data points. The idea is to concatenate the inputs with an additional piece of text that guides the LM to produce the desired outputs. For example, this picture shows a prompt created for the task of translating text from English to French. Choosing the best prompt for a given task can be a difficult process involving a lot of manual experimentation and trial and error. Therefore, methods for automatic prompt generation and tuning have been gaining popularity in the recent years. There are two approaches to automatic prompt tuning. The first approach is the use of so-called soft prompts, which are continuous embedding vectors that are attached to the LM and can be easily optimized with gradient descent. However, there are several limitations to this approach. For one thing, these prompts are often difficult for humans to interpret and understand which can make it hard to understand how and why the LM is making certain decisions. In addition, soft prompts are not generally reusable across different LM, which can be a major drawback if you want to use a different model for a particular task. Finally, soft prompts often require the use of LM internal gradients, which can be expensive to compute or simply unavailable in some cases. For example, when accessing the LM through an API, on the other hand, discrete prompts, which are made up of concrete tokens from a vocabulary, are more interpretable and reusable across LM. However, optimizing these prompts is much more difficult, and previous approaches have either relied on manual engineering or on selecting from multiple paraphrased or generated prompts. The paper we are discussing today proposes a method called RL prompt. This new approach uses reinforcement learning, RL, to optimize discrete prompts in a more efficient and flexible way. The RL prompt model, summarized in this image, consists of a policy network that is trained to generate the optimized discrete prompts using rewards. To deal with the complex and stochastic reward signals from the large LM environment, RL prompt incorporates effective reward stabilization techniques to enhance training efficiency. RL prompt formulates the optimization of discrete prompts as a reinforcement learning RL problem using a continuous policy network to explore the prompt space. The policy network is highly parameter efficient, training a small multilayer perceptron MLP on top of a frozen language model. At each time step, the agent receives previous prompt tokens and generates the next prompt token according to a policy. After the agent finishes the entire prompt, the agent receives the task reward. During training, the method explores the prompt space by sampling from the policy network. During inference, tokens are selected greedily to produce a deterministic prompt. The reward objective is optimized with an off-the-shelf RL algorithm the authors use a variant of soft Q learning. Let's look at some results using RL prompt. In experiments presented in the paper, the method outperforms a number of other fine tuning and prompting methods, achieving strong results on a wide range of tasks. For example, on few shot classification benchmarks such as SSD, 2, and Yelp polarity, RL prompt was able to achieve higher accuracy than other methods with fewer examples. RL prompt was also found to be effective on unsupervised text style transfer benchmarks, such as the Yelp Sentiment Transfer Dataset, 
where it was able to generate text that was more similar to the target style than other methods. Now, let's look at the qualitative results of RLPROMPT. One interesting aspect of RLPROMPT is that the resulting optimized prompts are often ungrammatical and nonsensical text, which might seem counterintuitive given the high performance of the model. See the examples provided here, which are focusing on sentiment analysis. The learned prompts really don't make much sense. Surprisingly, these gibberish prompts are still transferable between different LM and can retain significant performance, suggesting that the patterns underlying LM prompting may not follow human language patterns. Now, let's talk about the advantages of RL prompt over previous methods. First, the approach is compatible with a wide range of LM, including both left-to-right models such as GPT and MAST models like BERT. This means that RL prompt can be used to optimize prompts for a wide variety of tasks and models. Another advantage of RL prompt is that it does not require gradient access to the LM. This makes it a useful approach for optimizing prompts for LM that are deployed with only inference API, such as GPT-3. It also means that RL prompt can be used to optimize prompts for LM whose gradients are too expensive to compute which can be a major drawback of other methods. RL prompt also offers improved interpretability compared to other methods. Because the policy network is designed to generate discrete, human-readable tokens as prompts, it is much easier to understand and interpret the resulting prompts than with soft prompts. This can be an advantage for tasks where interpretability is important, such as in many NLP applications. Finally, RL prompt has the added benefit of being able to generate input-specific prompts. This means that the prompts can be tuned to the specific input being processed by the LM, which can be very useful in certain situations. For example, in the text style transfer task presented in the paper, RL prompt was able to generate tuned prompts that were able to successfully tackle the specific styles of the texts. This might not be achievable with a more generic prompt. So there you have it, a quick overview of the RL prompt paper. We hope you found this discussion informative and that you learned more about the exciting potential of automatic prompt tuning for NLP tasks. That's all for now. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.